Good morning, guys. We are here at our ACECORE official test facility. Um, today we're gonna show you what's that there. We're gonna show you that it's a working system. It's not a proof of concept, it does work. And we're gonna show you the ins and outs and benefits. Uh, so yeah, keep watching. So guys, we're ready. We've set up the Zoe and the data box. It's quick and easy. You don't need much gear. It's you can just deploy in like five minutes if you're fast. Um, so we, the Zoe is right there. It's ready. It's rigged with the cable attached from the data box. Um, the data box will just basically feed power to the drone to stay up in the air unlimited. On the Zoe, we do have the module which converts the high voltage to the lower voltage that's why we can uh, achieve a, a really thin cable uh, and then as well we have a backup battery in, in case the power snaps or the cable snaps uh, and it can still land safely i'm just going to show you guys what's the tether box itself so on the front of the box we do have an ip output uh, this output uh, here via this output we can stream the video feed coming from the camera uh, from the drone uh, as well you can hook it up to a computer to control the drone uh, in case you're in an environment where it's really sensitive with RF frequencies and possibility of jamming your signal. Um, the basic option is that we control the drone with a remote controller uh, which is used in many of the situations but as I told you before if you're in an environment where there's a lot of frequencies and RF you can control the drone via the cable as well. On the front of the, the box we do have a torque switch. Uh, the torque switch allows the cable to pull back in the box if it's really windy for example. Because in, when it's windy the cable bends and when you flip the switch to a certain value from 0 to 10 then uh, it pulls on the cable. So that means that the cable will be always straight under the drone. So we've set up everything. The only thing we're missing is power. Um, you can run it off the main or you can run it off a Jenny. Uh, our Jenny is up in the van, so let's hook it up. Right now you can see because of the wind, the cable is really curved and this is what I told you before with the torque. So I will adjust the torque now and you will see that it's coming up to a straight line. There we go. It's a really nice thing we have with the tether box as well is that it, uh, there's an app with it uh, which shows you flight time, temperature of the unit, the power we're consuming at the moment, cable speed, cable length, the height we are pretty much at. So today we're at 53 meters. Uh, we can go up to 100 but in this case we do fly now for safety reasons at 53 meters. And there's as well the torque. So the power we now right now we're consuming about a thousand watts. The system can go up to two thousand watts continuous. And above you see this curve. You can just follow real time how much current we're consuming from the drone. You can see it's going up and down a little bit because of the windy conditions at the moment. But it's really nice to have a real time data viewer. For, okay, for normal operations, the Zoe will pretty much stay in one line above the box, or I mean, it will just hover on a fixed position. 
um, for broadcast applications and filming applications, it is possible to still give a bit of throttle, move it left or right, and you still have the freedom which a drone is made for. Also good to remember, uh, the Zoe is a flying drone, it's not just a tether drone. So you can really quickly switch between a tether drone and a normal drone by just taking out the tether module and replace it with the battery and you can go up again and do your mission, but then just without the cable. So this is basically how the tether system works. It's the way to fly unlimited times. So think about it, what it means for your company or your business.